Hi guys and welcome to the channel, it's Machine Dana, good to see you, hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video I'm going to be discussing Streamlabs OBS and specifically the online tools that you can use to integrate with your Streamlabs OBS for streaming uh, on the various platforms, YouTube Gaming, Twitch, play, uh, PlayStation Gaming, mm, that's the thing, uh, Facebook Gaming and so on and so on. The thing I'm specifically going to go into today is all the different modules that are available to you through the online platform. Uh, that have some way of integrating with your loyalty system. Now, I've already got some other videos, tutorials on how to set up uh, CloudBot and Mod CloudBot and how you can use the loyalty system and set up the loyalty system, have a really nice website and store that integrates for the loyalty system. But there's also a lot of modules that you can use through CloudBot, which is the Streamlabs, uh, essentially their chat bot. Uh, function so it, using modules on your stream makes a huge huge difference to the interactivity on your stream and whether you just want to give people the, the interaction the interaction on stream or whether you actually want to just increase the engagement of your stream for algorithmic purposes ie twitch specifically seeing that people are interacting uh, which might bump you up the rankings a little bit Whatever your reasons, whatever your motives are, having modules on your stream does give you something a little bit new, something a little bit different. Quite a few streamers do use these modules, so this isn't completely unique, but there are also a lot of streamers that don't enable these things on their streams, and therefore it is a way of helping you to stand out a little bit more. And it might just give you just the extra one or 2% extra edge uh, when you're going up against the other people you're going to be streaming in similar categories. I've found, I've gradually introduced a number of different modules on my own stream. I started streaming like three months ago um, and it's been going really, really well so far. The modules people are starting to engage engage with to a, you know, a significant degree. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be going through where you enable CloudBot, uh, how you can enable the, um, the specific modules and what each of the modules is about and then i'll have separate videos uh, to go into each module specifically so there'll be a separate playlist available for those uh, particular modules if you want the detail on how to set up a specific module as always if you find this video useful i'd really appreciate it if you just give a little thumbs up that helps people to find this video if they're searching for similar things that you were searching for uh, and also if you want to see more tips hints and tricks or in general if you just like my style and my content please feel free to subscribe um, otherwise, enjoy the content. Thanks. Okay, so we're on the streamlabs.com online dashboard here, essentially. Uh, there's loads of information you can get here. I'm on the CloudBot um, sort of feature here. CloudBot is a free feature with streamlabs.com. The online, if, if you don't know about the way that things work, you in, in general terms with streaming, you've got the streaming platform itself, which is Twitch, YouTube gaming, uh, Facebook gaming, or whatever. Uh, mixer as was and basically you've got that which is the presentational aspect that, that that presents it to the viewer that's almost like the the kind of the front facing entity the viewers obviously engage with as well what the viewer doesn't necessarily engage with is the back-end um, cloud-based widgets modules and various other features and functions that you can integrate into uh, Twitch or whatever, but also the piece of software that pulls everything together, the cloud widgets, and then pushes that out to the streaming platform. So those three elements, the streaming platform, the online widgets and modules and cloud-based kind of features, and then the streaming software itself. In this case, I, I deal with mainly Streamlabs OBS. Um, those things working in unison with each other to help give the user a really, really good experience. So. This is why if you haven't already got a streamlabs.com account and you are streaming on Streamlabs OBS, you should really do that because it opens up a hell of a lot of extra function for you. There are some prime specific um, kind of functions and features that you can get. It significantly enhances what the user can experience on your channel and in engaging with you as a streamer. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So what I'm mainly concerned with today is CloudBot function. It's a really significant part of Streamlabs Online and the modules feature here. Um, so there are mod tools and various other kind of tools you can go along here. You can enable items simply by toggling the specific module that you want to enable on your stream. And honestly, at any time, you can just turn them on and off and it will enable them or disable them on your channel. First things first, before you do that, you need to make sure that you mod Streamlabs. And you simply do that by typing forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your own chat. 
that will then provide modding capabilities to Streamlabs uh, on your stream and that will allow it to, to work. You do need to ensure that the CloudBot itself as a whole function is enabled. That will mean that it basically can work, it's turned on. So you toggle the specific uh, module that you want. I'll very briefly run through what these modules actually are just so you can get a flavor. And as I said, I'll do separate videos going into each one of these more specifically in the settings that are available. They'll be really, really short, straightforward videos. So chat alerts, these are to get notified in chat whenever an activity happens like a donation or, or a subscription. Chat alerts, you can configure. I've obviously got these turned on and these, all these different settings here. I'll go into in a different video. There's the heist mini game. This enables your viewers to kind of play in a game that allows them to almost like kind of use some of their loyalty points for a way of heisting to get new uh, and, and more loyalty points as a team. They can win or lose loyalty points based on that. Uh, and then there's all the preferences that go with that. Uh, the gamble mini game. This is quite a simple, straightforward one. I've got this one in particular enabled. If you've got a loyalty points system uh, enabled uh, on your on your stream, your users will build up loyalty points, and they can then basically gamble those loyalty points um, using rolls, essentially like a hundred sided dice. Yeah, hundred sided dice. And then there's the settings for that. You've got the media sharing. I've done separate tutorials already on how to set up media share. So please uh, feel free to take a look at those those videos. Uh, I'll link that in the description. This allows your viewers to interact with you uh, using media sharing so they can actually post YouTube videos onto your stream. Uh, there are paid ways to do that where you can encourage donations and also free versions and you can change the settings among the two different things there. That's quite a complicated one, media sharing, and I've already done the videos for that so I won't go into any detail on this. But the, basically the user will then make a request and then use uh, a YouTube URL and that will then go into a media share queue and then we're able to have, um, basically you can authorize that as the streamer and then that will appear in a box on your stream. And you can resize the box to be any size on your stream. So that's the media sharing function. Uh, again, that's turned on for my stream. You've got the eight ball game. This is like asking questions and the eight ball will then answer those questions. So the user types exclamation mark eight ball and then the question. Uh, again, there's the preferences for that as well. You can add new messages. You can edit the existing message. Sure, I wouldn't recommend it. Not sure. They're the boring ones, but you can probably add some more fun ones to it as well. I don't yet have 8-Ball enabled on my own just yet. Um, no particular reason for that. I've just not really looked in detail at it yet. Uh, but again, I'll do a, a full video on that. So the slots mini game is quite a straightforward one as well. It allows your viewers to potentially earn extra points from spinning the slot machine. Again, this uses the loyalty points system that you've hopefully set up by now. Uh, again, preferences for that is the minimum and maximum amount, uh, and then there's like emotes and combinations that, uh, and that literally has a three emotes that come down. It will randomly roll three emotes for the viewer, and basically they can win based on what those kind of slots then appear uh, in in the in the answer. You've then got dueling. Dueling's quite a nice one. I recently did a tournament for dueling where actually I allowed all my viewers. I had 16 people in a tournament, which then whittled down to eight then down to four and then two finalists and then the winner i gave a 25 pound amazon voucher to it was a really fun two hour stream that we did uh, i got a load of extra followers from it but so much interaction and so much fun um so yeah feel free to pinch that idea if you want to steal that <laughs> so this what this does is again it uses the loyalty point system exclamation point dual space username space points and you're able to essentially dual a single user for a given amount of points now, the user has to have enough points to actually gamble uh, to duel with you. Um, but if they if they don't, then they won't be able to accept the duel. And this, this allows the viewers to duel each of the points. And it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Again, the preferences here, you can have minimums and maximums. Um, and also, there's things you can do with commands and timers that link into loyalty that enhance that experience for the user. Again, I'll do a, a separate video on that. Emote pyramids congratulate viewers that can build an emote pyramid uh, in your chat. So certain combinations of, of pyramids in your chat, it then does a congratulations for them. You just look at that. For example, for slash me made a something with a pyramid pog champ. So uh, different ways, and they can yeah, they, they can essentially edit these these settings here. Uh, then finally, you've got the emote combo. So if, if a user does a specific emote combo in your chat, 
they can uh, there can be an announcement that happens off the back of that now the emote combos that's quite an interesting one because you can use emote combos for your own purposes and not just your chat's purposes so you can do an emote combo yourself which then does some sort of announcement um you know in a certain way so and there's multiple ones of, of these that you can do so they're the different messages uh, so there's different faces here, G baited, Kappa Ross, and so on. So you can add different messages. So there's a lot of functions that you can use this for if you're, you know, if you want to just spice up your own stream and give out extra information. For instance, you might have triple pog champs as a an emote combo, and that triple pog champs might be every time you get a triple kill in a game and or something like that. So there's different things you can do with that. Once again, this most of these things here, as I've mentioned, do link into the loyalty store and the settings for which are here. Loyalty store does need to be um, basically enabled. You, you do that by clicking this setting here, enable. Uh, you can monitor your users, how many points they've got. Uh, and you can also set a store up for the loyalty store as well, including voice, things that people can redeem. Again, I've got another, another video set up for that. But literally, once you've toggled them and set the preferences, and if you have a loyalty system, point system set up, then your users will earn loyalty based on your settings. For instance, every five minutes, they will get one payout for the settings that I have. And if they're active chatting within that five minutes period, they get an extra two for my particular loyalty, which is called Girth Clout. Don't ask, <laughs> don't ask about the name. So that's that. they interact with each other. It's a really, really neat tool. I found it's a really good way of retaining viewers, particularly in the quieter moments in your stream. Uh, and many viewers just kind of enjoy the interaction with each other rather than just directly with the streamer so it can be a really easy easy win uh, and again turning them on and setting them up is as simple as a 20 minute job just to do some configuration work uh, hopefully that made sense to everyone hopefully you enjoyed the video when you found this useful and you took something away from this i'm really keen to understand how people are actually using the different modules in different ways maybe perhaps ways that i've not thought of cool creative ways if you found any really creative ways to use it drop a comment and let me know i'll be really interested to maybe pinch your idea or at least know what it is so i can maybe maybe look at pinching it my streams are almost daily in the evening times uk time at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana if you're interested drop me a little follow um, i'll more than likely follow you back and take a little look at you as well uh, and yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the video once again give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you later